Let's discuss the most effective nutrients for reducing plaque buildup in your arteries. When we talk about plaque, we're referring to a combination of cholesterol, a specific type of protein that contributes to fibrosis, and calcium. These substances form a kind of band-aid in response to inflammation or issues within your artery walls. There are two main types of plaque in arteries, soft plaque and hard plaque, also known as calcified plaque. They differ significantly in their characteristics and risks. Soft plaque is unstable and more dangerous because it can rupture easily, leading to sudden blockages in arteries. On the other hand, hard plaque or calcified plaque is denser and more stable, posing a lower immediate risk. Soft plaque is more common, about four times as frequent as calcified plaque. When you undergo a coronary artery calcium CAC, test, it measures the amount of calcified plaque in your arteries. This score reflects the extent of calcified plaque present, which is important because much of the soft plaque eventually transforms into calcified plaque over time. Soft plaque itself doesn't show up on a CAC score, so the score mainly indicates the calcified plaque burden in your arteries. There's a phenomenon known as the CAC paradox, where your coronary artery calcium CAC score might increase even after making significant improvements to your diet and overall health. This increase doesn't indicate that your condition is worsening. Rather, it often means that the soft, unstable plaque in your arteries is transforming into harder, more stable calcified plaque. This shift actually reduces the immediate risk associated with the plaque. The CAC test primarily detects calcified plaque and may not effectively identify soft plaque, which is more dangerous. To better assess the presence of soft plaque, there are other tests available. These tests include biomarkers like myeloperoxidase and LPPLA2, which can indicate inflammation and plaque instability. Another effective test is a non-invasive ultrasound of your carotid arteries, which can predict the presence of soft plaque with high accuracy. It's crucial to monitor not only your CAC score, but also factors like the type of LDL cholesterol present in your blood. Specifically, small dense LDL particles are more pathogenic than larger buoyant LDL particles. Ensuring healthy levels of HDL cholesterol is also important, as it helps remove harmful LDL from your arteries. By utilizing these additional tests and monitoring key lipid and biomarker levels, you can gain a more comprehensive understanding of your arterial health and take proactive steps to reduce plaque buildup and inflammation. Another important factor to monitor is triglyceride levels. When triglycerides are high, it often indicates excessive carbohydrate consumption. This can contribute to lipid imbalances and potentially increase cardiovascular risk. A valuable test to consider is the lipoprotein insulin resistance. This test provides a detailed assessment of your lipid profile and insulin sensitivity. It's particularly useful because it can reveal insights into how your body processes fats and sugars, which are crucial factors in cardiovascular health. Among all the lipid and metabolic factors, the LPIR score is highly associated with the development of cardiovascular atherosclerosis. Therefore, if you have the opportunity to include this test in your blood work, it can provide valuable information to guide your efforts in managing and improving your heart health. Now let's simplify how to determine which type of LDL cholesterol you have, whether it's the small dense particles or the large buoyant particles. To differentiate between these types without specific testing, you can look at the ratio of LDL cholesterol to ApoB. ApoB is a component of lipoproteins that indicates the number of particles carrying cholesterol in your blood. Here's how you can assess it. Calculate the ratio. Divide your LDL cholesterol level by your ApoB level. This gives you a ratio that helps distinguish between small dense LDL and large buoyant LDL. Interpret the ratio. Ideally, you want this ratio to be greater than 1.2. A higher ratio suggests that you have more large, buoyant LDL particles, which are considered less harmful and less likely to contribute to cardiovascular risk compared to small, dense LDL particles. Understanding these concepts can be complex, but focusing on this ratio provides a straightforward method to gauge the composition of your LDL cholesterol particles and their associated risk. Let's discuss which nutrients can naturally help clean your arteries. One effective nutrient is pycnogenol which is derived from pine bark. It's recommended to take around 150 milligrams daily. 
Pycnogenol is beneficial because it helps convert soft plaque into calcified plaque, making it more stable. Additionally, it has properties that can prevent the formation of new plaque in the arteries. Including pycnogenol in your diet or as a supplement can contribute to better arterial health by promoting the conversion of unstable plaque to a more stable form and by reducing the risk of further plaque buildup. This makes it a valuable nutrient for supporting cardiovascular health naturally. Another beneficial nutrient for cleaning arteries naturally is GoTo Cola. It's recommended to take around 450 milligrams daily. GoTo Cola enhances the function of pycnogenol, making it more effective in converting soft plaque into stable, calcified plaque. Additionally, GoTo Cola also plays a role in preventing the formation of new plaque in the arteries. By complementing pycnogenol with GoTo Cola, you can potentially improve the overall health of your arteries. Together, these nutrients support the conversion and stabilization of plaque, as well as help in reducing the risk of future plaque buildup. Incorporating GoTo Cola into your daily regimen can contribute to maintaining cardiovascular health naturally. The third remedy is vitamin K2. Known for its potent ability to inhibit vascular calcification, which is the process of calcium deposits forming in the arteries. Vitamin K2 effectively prevents this calcification from occurring, thereby promoting arterial health. When supplementing with vitamin K2, it's important to consider the dosage. Instead of micrograms, which are typically used for other nutrients, vitamin K2 is best taken in milligrams to achieve optimal results. However, it's worth noting that there are limited options for vitamin K2 supplements available in milligram dosages. Choosing a supplement that provides vitamin K2 in milligrams ensures you're getting an effective amount to support cardiovascular health by preventing arterial calcification. This approach maximizes the benefits of vitamin K2 in maintaining the flexibility and integrity of your arteries. The next remedy is natokinase. Natokinase is an enzyme derived from fermented soybeans, specifically from the Japanese dish called natto. It is known for its ability to help decrease the thickness of arterial walls. And the last remedy is niacin. It's important to choose the immediate release form rather than sustained release, because the immediate release niacin causes a flushing sensation, which some people may find uncomfortable. However, this flushing effect is beneficial for managing cholesterol levels. Thank you for watching our comprehensive guide on the best nutrients to effectively remove plaque from arteries. We hope you found the information valuable and informative. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more health tips, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Share this video with friends and family who might benefit from this important information. Stay tuned for more insightful content, and as always, stay healthy and take care.